I know everyone familiar with this meaty, beefy bird. Cheap and delicious. Also relatively easy to get onto except in panic buying. Ha ha, I'm introducing you, chicken. A broiler types chicken to be exact. A broiler is a types of chicken that raise solely for its meat. Currently, chicken claim to be numerous bird on earth with a record number of 30 billion individual more than all wild bird combined. How broiler can achieve such enormous population? The obvious one, fulfilling our needs and wants. In today's video, we will cover a bit on history of broiler, its life cycle assessment, abbreviators LCA, its environmental impact, also ways and solutions to reduce its environmental impact. The history of broiler can be traced back into ancient time. Domestication of chicken started in Southeast Asia around 2000 BC, majorly linked to Gallus Gallus domesticus, before spreading to other continents except the Poles. Although domestication of chicken can be traced back to thousand years ago in Southeast Asia, the Northern Hemisphere that start the revolution in raising chicken for meat especially in United States of America. So we take a quick view on United States chicken industry history. Around 1800 and early 1900, each household raising flocks of dual-purpose chickens, supplied eggs and chicken for in the weekend. Also in the summer, some entrepreneur begin to sell young chickens for meat. It considered as additional activity for their family farms. Moving on to 1920 to 1930 a development of broiler farms start to appear. Broiler farms sprout in designated locations such as Delmarva Peninsula, Georgia, Arkansas and New England due to proximity to its source of feed, corn and soybeans. During this period, Mrs. Wilma Steele had become synonymous with commercial broiler industry in United States history. From having just only 500 chick in 1923 into astounding 10,000 birds by 1926, progressing to 1940 to 1960 integration of broiler industry of feed mills, hatcheries, farms and processes occur to protect market share and production. As a result of those integrations, broiler become the number one source of chicken meat replacing chicken farm by 1952. Those chicken have been eviscerated and pack as a whole wooden crates filled with ice. Since 1970s the industry have flourished with nutritional discoveries, disease eradication programs, genetic improvement via traditional breeding, mechanization and automation technologies. The development of United States have been followed suit by industry players in other countries as it have a pretty good productivity in leading the world by producing a whooping 20.4 million metric tons of chicken meat based on data provided by Statistica.com in 2019. Some of you might wonder what is actually life cycle assessment. To put simply, life cycle assessment is a way to assess environmental impact of associated product in her life cycle. From the start of acquiring raw material to its disposal, Generally there are five stages in life cycle assessment of a product. Notes, the stages of life cycle might be vary from one to another. Therefore let us see the life stage of a broiler. Life stage of a broiler include acquisition of raw material, processing and packaging, transportation and distribution, consumption and lastly, disposal. Raw material acquisition stage. The raw material or inputs begin with the chicks itself sourced from hatcheries, its feed, comprised mainly from corn or soybean. Chicken bedding, usually wood chip from wood mills. Also electric and water that support the process. The chicks will be raised for 12 to 14 weeks depends on demand from the market. During this stages, our chicks become broiler. It also comes with a ton of feces, bedding waste and waste water from cleaning process. Processing and packaging stage after the broiler reach its intended weight and age. Broiler will be sent to processing plants or slaughterhouse. Then, the chicken will be unloaded from the truck and hanged to moving line. Those chicken will be calmed under dim light and rub bars. The chicken will stun using electric then slaughtered in the neck using sharp knife. Next, cleaning will take place, defeathering the chicken with hot water and mechanical machine. Followed suit by evisceration process, the internal organ of the broiler will be removed. The carcass will be inspected before through cleaning and cooling process. The carcass can be a whole chicken or go one more process known as debone that cut the carcass into other products such as wings, drumsticks and chicken breasts. Which later will be fast cooling to extend shelf life, packaged in film of plastic and stored in freezer, 
transportation and distribution stage, finally the chicken will load to trucks and deliver to the local market. Usually this happen is the same day the chicken have completed the processing and packaging stage. Consumption stage the chicken can transform into many products for consumption. Such fried chicken, grilled chicken, chicken nugget and many more. This depend on the culinary culture of each household and regions. Disposal stage. After going use and consumption stage, it will be disposed in the form bones and food waste. Generally going to landfill, some might feed it to animals or compost it. The environmental impact of broiler is more apparent in its first stage, raw material acquisition stage also in processing and packaging stages. In the raw material acquisition stage, acquisition of feeds from feed mills and the by-product, bedding waste and manure from broiler farm, contribute more than half the global warming potential in that stage. Global warming potential is the ability of any greenhouse gas in the atmosphere to absorb heat equivalent to mass of carbon dioxide to absorb the same heat. In the processing and packaging stage chicken slaughtering, electricity and heat production and packaging production are the main processes responsible for the environmental impact on this stage. Usage of machinery, lighting, ventilation, refrigeration and cooling contribute to high electric demand, which usually sourced from unrenewable energy such fossil power plant, making 31% in cumulative energy demand and 61% in acidification potential. Cumulative energy demand represent the direct and indirect energy use throughout the life cycle. Meanwhile acidification potential are the quantification of gases amount that responsible for the acidification of soils, waters and the environment. Ways and solutions for reducing environmental impact of broiler in term of feed production and supply feed mills and broiler farmer can switch feed component from corns, maize and soybean into grains legumes such as chickpea, peanut and lentil. As it require less application of fertilizer, reducing its impact on global warming potential, other than that, switch into alternatives such as black soldier fly larvae are considered more sustainable. Black soldier fly larvae are detritivore which mean they feed on organic materials, particularly plants and feces a great ways to reduce food waste and feces from the broiler itself. Besides, outsourcing on local feed supplier that practice environmentally friendly production also recommendable, as it will reduce cumulative energy demand and more sustainable production. In term of energy, switching to renewable energy can make the cumulative energy demand in broiler life cycle greener and sustainable. Waste to energy power plant and solar power plant are some of the viable options on the table, resulting less dependency on fossil fuel power plant that contribute to almost two-third global electricity in 2019.